Today I wanted to read something out of uh, Matthew uh, chapter 16. I'm going to be reading through verses 24 and 25. Then Jesus told his disciples, Anyone who would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it. But for whoever loses his life for me will find it. It's Matthew uh, 16, 24 and 25. Now, um, most people, I guess, would um, associate this verse with uh, tithing, but as I was reading it, I found it interesting because, you know, you, Jesus has, is asking others to give, but if you think about the depth of what Jesus gave, he literally had nothing else left to give. He didn't have a couple of copper coins like the lady at uh, the offering. The Son of Man didn't have a place to lay his head. But when he came here and as he grew older, he realized why he was here, what he had been sent for, what his purpose was. And even though I guess that can be admittedly very terrifying to know what you're going to undergo, he was still willing to do the task so that we could, we could have eternity with him in paradise. He gave everything he had. He literally didn't have anything else left to give us. He didn't, he didn't have to look at that and know that, uh, look at his own words and see what he was saying, that if anyone would come after him, seek the cross and follow him, because he knew he was the one leading He had nothing else to gain from, from doing this. He knew that it was simply for us, and he wanted to do it for us. And right now, we take this time to remember that, that sacrifice he did so that we could all live with him. And just as we do this, I want you to think about that and remember that he just gave everything he could. He had nothing left to offer except himself. But that's the best thing anybody could ever give, in my opinion. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for your son, Jesus Christ, for what he did on the cross, and, and just so awesome, Father, what you've done for us, and that even though we're sinners and, and rebelling against you, but you continue to seek us out and continue to find ways, on open doors for us to, to return to you. We're so thankful for what uh, Jesus did on the cross, and as we partake of the fruit of the vine, which represents his blood, just pray that we'll remember his sacrifice and what it means to us. We thank you so much, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.